I need you to stop whatever you're doing right now and listen carefully. There's a hidden power, an ancient divine force that has been waiting for you to discover it. It's a gift from the universe, something that can change everything you know about your life. This isn't just a myth or a vague concept. It's a real tangible energy that can allow you to bend reality, to manifest your deepest desires and to step into the life you were always meant to live. Most people walk through life unaware of this power, trapped in cycles of routine and limitation, never realizing how close they are to unlocking the door to their true potential. But time is running out. The universe is shifting and the opportunity to access this gift won't be open forever. The question is, are you ready to take control and awaken to this power? or will you let it slip through your fingers while the world around you changes forever? Imagine starting every day feeling unstoppable, armed with the knowledge that you hold the key to creating the life you've always dreamed of. It sounds too good to be true, but it's not. The power to manifest your desires is already inside you, as simple and effortless as flipping a switch. This isn't some distant, unreachable force. It's within you, waiting to be accessed. It's the same power that guides the stars in the sky and fuels the energy of the universe. You might not see it with your eyes, but it's there, an undeniable truth that is felt in every heartbeat, in every moment of stillness when you connect with the world around you. Dr. Ernest Holmes, the founder of the Science of Mind, believed that this divine power is always accessible, simply waiting for you to activate it. Holmes was a visionary, someone who understood that the universe operates according to spiritual laws, laws that govern the manifestation of everything in existence. He taught that our thoughts, feelings, and beliefs shape the reality we experience. You are not separate from the universe, but a part of its infinite potential, connected to an eternal source of creative power. This power doesn't ask for anything extraordinary from you, except that you believe in it, trust it, and use it. The secret lies in understanding that you are always creating, whether you realize it or not. Every thought you have, every emotion you feel, and every belief you hold sends out energy that shapes the world around you. Most people go through life unaware of this, allowing their minds to be cluttered with doubt, fear, and negativity. And without realizing it, they manifest more of the same into their lives. More fear, more limitations, more struggle. But here's the thing, the moment you become aware of this process, everything changes. You become the conscious creator of your reality. The life you want, the dreams you've held onto, no longer feel distant or impossible they start to feel within reach because they are. Holmes understood that the mind is the most powerful tool we have. It can open doors or close them. It can build the future or destroy it. The choice is always yours and the power is always within you. He often spoke about the law of cause and effect, explaining that what you think about consistently becomes the cause that leads to the effects you see in your life. If you focus on abundance, abundance grows. If you focus on lack, lack expands. The energy you put out is the energy that comes back to you. This isn't about magic or wishful thinking. It's about aligning yourself with the universal principles that govern everything in existence. When you understand that your thoughts create vibrations that ripple out into the world, you begin to take responsibility for the energy you're sending out. And when you do that, you can consciously direct your life in ways you've only dreamed of before. It all starts with a shift in mindset. The first step is believing that you have this power inside of you, that you're not at the mercy of external circumstances. The universe isn't working against you. It's working with you, responding to your thoughts, your energy, and your intentions. The moment you realize this, you become unstoppable. You can begin to manifest the things that truly matter to you, whether it's love, success, peace, or fulfillment. These are not distant dreams. They are realities waiting for you to bring them into existence. 
What Holmes wanted people to understand is that the power to create a better life, a better world, lies in each of us. It's not something only a few can access. It's a universal gift available to anyone who is willing to embrace it. The real question is whether you are ready to believe in it, to trust in your ability to manifest the reality you desire. Time is running out. The world is shifting in ways we cannot fully comprehend. But one thing remains true. The power to shape your life is within you. It's always been there, waiting for you to awaken to it. The question is, will you use it? Or will you let it slip away as the opportunity to transform your life quietly passes by? At the core of Dr. Ernest Holmes' teachings is a profound and transformative belief. You are connected to the universe's infinite energy. This idea isn't just a philosophical notion. It's a foundational principle that underpins the entire science of mind philosophy. According to Holmes, the universe is an immense, boundless field of energy, and you are an integral part of it. This connection means that you are never isolated or powerless. Instead, you are always linked to a source of limitless potential, a universal force that responds to your inner world. Holmes taught that this universal energy is not separate from you, but is intertwined with every aspect of your being. Imagine it like a vast ocean of potential in which you are a drop. Just as a drop of water contains the essence of the entire ocean, you too hold the essence of the universe's boundless power within you. This means that whatever you seek, whether it's happiness, success, love, or fulfillment, is not out of reach, but is already part of your inherent potential. But here's the crucial point. While you are connected to this infinite energy, tapping into it requires an inner transformation. This transformation begins with your thoughts and beliefs. Holmes emphasized that the energy of the universe responds to your mental and emotional states. If your thoughts and beliefs are aligned with positivity, abundance, and possibility, then the universe mirrors that back to you. Conversely, if you are consumed by negativity, fear, and doubt, you will see more of those things manifest in your life. The first step in harnessing this universal energy is understanding and transforming your internal landscape. Your thoughts are incredibly powerful. They act as the seeds from which your reality grows. Just as a gardener tends to the soil to cultivate healthy plants, you need to tend to your mind and beliefs to cultivate a life of fulfillment. This means examining the beliefs you hold about yourself and the world. Are they empowering or limiting? Do they reflect a sense of abundance and possibility, or do they reinforce a mindset of scarcity and limitation? Holmes believed that you are already equipped with everything you need to create the life you want. This isn't about acquiring external tools or resources. It's about recognizing and unleashing the power that resides within you. The universe operates on spiritual laws and one of the key laws is the law of attraction, which states that like attracts like. If you focus on positive, constructive thoughts, you attract similar energy into your life. If your mindset is one of limitation or lack, that's what you will continue to experience. Transforming your thoughts and beliefs requires conscious effort and practice. It involves reprogramming your mind to align with your true potential. This can be done through various practices such as affirmations, visualization, and mindfulness. Affirmations help to shift your thinking from negative to positive, reinforcing beliefs that support your goals and desires. Visualization allows you to see yourself achieving your dreams, creating a mental blueprint that your subconscious mind will work to bring into reality. Mindfulness helps you become aware of and change limiting beliefs, bringing your thoughts and actions into harmony with your desires. In essence, Holmes's teaching is a call to recognize your divine connection and use it to transform your life. By aligning your thoughts and beliefs with the infinite energy of the universe, you can begin to manifest your dreams and create a reality that reflects your highest aspirations. 
It's about harnessing the power that is inherently yours and using it to craft the life you always desired. This inner transformation is not just a path to personal fulfillment. It is the key to unlocking the boundless potential that the universe has in store for you. At the heart of harnessing the universe's infinite energy is the practice of visualization. Dr. Ernest Holmes highlighted the importance of vividly imagining the life you want to live. This process isn't just about daydreaming or fantasizing. It's a powerful tool for aligning yourself with the universal energy that can transform your reality. Visualization involves creating clear, detailed mental images of your desired outcomes. It's like painting a picture in your mind of the life you want to experience. The more vivid and detailed these images are, the more effectively they can influence your reality. When you visualize, you tap into the universe's creative force, using your mind as a canvas to project and manifest your desires. Holmes understood that our minds have a profound impact on our experiences. By visualizing your goals, you are not just thinking about them. You are immersing yourself in the emotions and sensations of achieving them. This emotional engagement is crucial because it helps to align your subconscious mind with your conscious desires. When your feelings and thoughts are in harmony, you create a powerful energy that attracts similar vibrations from the universe. To make visualization effective, it's essential to use clear mental images. This means imagining not just the end result, but also the process and the feelings associated with it. For instance, if you're visualizing a successful career, picture yourself in the environment where you're thriving. See the details of your workspace, hear the sounds of success, and feel the satisfaction of achievement. The clearer and more specific your mental images, the more compelling and persuasive they become to the universe. Positive affirmations complement visualization by reinforcing the mental images you create. These are statements that declare your goals as already achieved. For example, if your visualization focuses on financial abundance, you might use affirmations like, I am effortlessly attracting wealth and prosperity. Repeating these affirmations helps to solidify your belief in your desired outcome, making it easier for the universe to align with your intentions. In addition to visualization and affirmations, spiritual practices can deepen your connection to universal energy. Practices such as meditation, mindfulness, and gratitude help to cultivate a mindset that is receptive to positive change. Meditation allows you to quiet your mind, making it easier to focus on your visualizations and affirmations. Mindfulness keeps you present and aware of your thoughts, ensuring they are aligned with your goals. Gratitude amplifies your positive energy by acknowledging and appreciating what you already have, which in turn attracts more of what you desire. Holmes' teaching suggests that when you engage in these practices, you are not just passively wishing for change, you are actively participating in the creation of your reality. Your reality. By vividly imagining the life you want, reinforcing it with positive affirmations, and supporting it with spiritual practices, you align yourself with the universal energy. This alignment creates a powerful synergy that accelerates the manifestation of your desires. In summary, visualization is a key component in transforming your life through the universe's infinite energy. By creating detailed mental images, using positive affirmations, and incorporating spiritual practices, you tap into the creative force that lies within you. This alignment with universal energy is the gateway to achieving your dreams and creating the reality you've always wanted. The power to shape your life is already within you. Visualization is the tool that brings it to the forefront. To make Dr. Ernest Holmes' philosophy actionable, he encourages a fundamental shift in mindset. Instead of viewing life through the lens of obstacles and limitations, Holmes advocates for training yourself to see endless possibilities and abundance. This shift is not about wishful thinking or hoping for better circumstances. 
It's about cultivating a profound trust in your ability to co-create with the universe. Holmes understood that our perceptions shape our experiences. If you see life as a series of challenges and barriers, that is precisely what you will encounter. Your beliefs act as filters through which you interpret and respond to the world around you. If your mindset is focused on limitations, you will be more likely to notice and attract situations that reinforce this view. Conversely, if you train yourself to perceive opportunities in abundance, you open yourself up to a flow of positive experiences and possibilities. To cultivate this mindset shift, begin by consciously changing the way you think about challenges. Rather than viewing them as insurmountable obstacles, try to see them as opportunities for growth and learning. Every challenge carries the potential for valuable lessons and can lead you to new paths of success. By adopting this perspective, you start to transform difficulties into stepping stones towards your goals. This shift also involves moving from a mindset of scarcity to one of abundance. Scarcity thinking holds that resources are limited and that you must compete with others for what you need. Ab abundance thinking, on the other hand, recognizes that the universe is vast and full of opportunities. It operates on the principle that there is more is more than enough for everyone and that success and prosperity are not finite. When you embrace an abundance mindset, you become more open to receiving and sharing, which naturally attracts more positive experiences into your life. Cultivating a deeper trust in your ability to co-create with the universe is a crucial part of this mindset shift. Trusting in your power means believing that you have the ability to influence and shape your reality through your thoughts, beliefs, and actions. This trust isn't just about having faith in the process, but also about believing in your own capabilities. It requires a commitment to self-awareness and personal growth, recognizing that you are an active participant in the creation of your life. Building this trust involves several practices. Start by reflecting on past experiences where you have successfully manifested your desires or achieved goals. Acknowledge your role in these successes and use them as evidence of your co-creative power. Additionally, engage in regular practices such as affirmations, visualization, and gratitude to reinforce your belief in your ability to create positive change. It's also, also helpful to self with supportive influences. Seek out people who share your mindset and encourage your growth. Avoid environments and relationships that reinforce scarcity and limitation. Instead, immerse yourself in communities and experiences that align with your vision of abundance and possibility. In summary, Dr. Ernest Holmes' philosophy is actionable through deliberate mindset shifts. By training yourself to see life's challenges as opportunities, adopting an abundance mindset, and cultivating a deep trust in your ability to co-create with the universe, you align yourself with the universal energy that can transform your reality. This mindset shift isn't a passive act, but an ongoing practice that empowers you to manifest the life you desire and to engage with the world in a more meaningful and fulfilling way. I need you to stop whatever you're doing right now and listen carefully. There's a profound opportunity in front of you and it's time to dive into it. As we explore these teachings together, I want you to engage with this content on a deeper level. So let's make this interactive and personal. Take a moment to really think about this. What limiting beliefs are holding you back? These are the thoughts and ideas that have been ingrained in you over time, the ones that tell you what you can't do or what you don't deserve. Reflect on them. What stories have you been telling yourself about your potential? Are there any beliefs that have kept you stuck in the same patterns or prevented you from reaching for your dreams? Write these down. What are the specific phrases or thoughts that come to mind? For instance, maybe you've thought, I'm not good enough, or I'll never succeed in this area. By identifying these beliefs, you're taking the first step towards transforming them. 
you are shining a light on the shadows that have been dimming your potential. Now, let's shift the focus a bit. I want you to visualize and imagine something powerful. How do you envision your best life? Picture it in vivid detail. What does it look like? Where are you? Who are you with? How do you feel in this vision of your ideal life? Take a few moments to immerse yourself in this image. Think about the daily experiences of this best life. What are you doing? How are you interacting with others? What kind of work are you involved in? How do you spend your free time? The more detailed your vision, the more real and attainable it becomes. Imagine yourself living this life with all the richness and fulfillment it entails. I encourage you to write this vision down as well. Describe it with as much detail as you can. This exercise is not just about fantasizing. It's about setting a clear, actionable intention. When you have a vivid picture of what you want, it becomes easier to align your thoughts and actions with that vision. But let's not stop there. Reflect on the connection between your limiting beliefs and your vision. How might these beliefs be impacting your ability to achieve the life you want? Are there any ways that these limiting beliefs might be standing in the way of your vision? For example, if you believe that you're not capable of success, how might that belief be influencing your actions or decisions? Here's where the real work begins. As you address these reflections, start thinking about how you can challenge and change those limiting beliefs. What steps can you take to shift your mindset? Perhaps you could practice affirmations that counteract these negative beliefs or seek support from others who can help you reframe your thinking. To make this process even more engaging, I invite you to share your reflections. What did you discover about your limiting beliefs? How does your vision of your best life look? Feel free to drop your thoughts in the comments below or engage with others who are on this journey. This shared space can become a source of inspiration and support as we all work towards creating the life we truly desire. Remember, this is not just an exercise, but a stepping stone towards a deeper understanding of yourself and your potential. By actively engaging with these questions, you're not only connecting with the teachings on a personal level, but also taking powerful steps towards transforming your life. So take your time with these reflections. The insights you gain today can pave the way for profound changes and align you with the abundant possibilities that the universe offers. Your journey towards a more fulfilling and empowered life starts with these moments of introspection. Dr. Ernest Holmes' teachings are deeply rooted in a tradition of spiritual wisdom that spans centuries and cultures. His insights into the power of thoughts, beliefs, and the universe are not just modern concepts, but part of a timeless spiritual tapestry that connects ancient wisdom with contemporary self-help practices. By bridging the gap between Holmes' philosophy and these broader spiritual traditions, we can see how his principles are relevant and enduring, and furring, uh, echoing through the ages. Holmes' core belief that we are connected to the universe's infinite energy and have the power to shape our reality resonates strongly with ancient spiritual traditions. For instance, in Eastern philosophies like Buddhism and Hinduism, the concept of interconnectedness and the power of the mind are central themes. Buddhism teaches that our perceptions and intentions shape our experiences, a concept parallel to Holmes idea that our thoughts influence the reality we create. Similarly, in Hinduism, the notion of the universe being an interconnected whole reflects Holmes' belief in our intrinsic connection to the universal energy. This connection between ancient wisdom and Holmes' teachings becomes even more evident when considered practices like meditation and visualization. These practices have been used for thousands of years to align individuals with higher states of consciousness and manifest desired outcomes. In ancient Taoist traditions, for example, meditation is used to cultivate harmony with the natural flow of the universe, 
akin to Holmes emphasis on aligning one's thoughts and beliefs with universal energy. By visualizing desired outcomes and meditating on our intentions, we tap into the same timeless principles that Holmes advocates. In modern self-help practices, we see a reflection of Holmes's teachings and concepts like the law, the law of attraction, popularized in recent decades. The law of attraction posits that like attracts like, and that our thoughts and feelings attract corresponding experiences into our lives. This modern practice echoes Holmes's emphasis on the power of positive thinking and the role of mental imagery in shaping our reality. Just as Holmes encourages vivid visualization and positive affirmations to manifest desires, contemporary self-help methods advocate similar practices to harness the power of the mind. What's powerful about Holmes' teachings is their ability to bridge these ancient and modern perspectives, showing that the principles he shares are not new, but rather part of a broader spiritual and psychological continuum. His emphasis on mindset shifts, the power of thought, and the connection to universal energy align seamlessly with the core teachings of ancient spiritual traditions and modern self-help practices alike. Holmes' philosophy also highlights the timeless nature of these principles by demonstrating their universal applicability. Whether you look at ancient scriptures or contemporary self-help literature, the underlying message remains consistent our inner world profoundly affects our outer reality. This consistency across different traditions and time periods underscores the enduring relevance of Holmes's insights. By understanding Holmes's teachings through the lens of both ancient spiritual wisdom and modern practices, we gain a deeper appreciation for their timeless value. They are not isolated ideas, but part of a continuous thread of knowledge that spans human history. This broader perspective allows us to see how these principles can be applied in various contexts, offering us a rich and multifaceted approach to personal growth and spiritual development. In essence, Dr. Ernest Holmes' teachings are a modern expression of ancient truths, just showing that the wisdom of the ages is alive and well in contemporary self-help and spiritual practices. By bridging the gap between these perspectives, we can appreciate the depth and relevance of Holmes's insights and apply them to our lives with greater clarity and purpose. By integrating Dr. Ernest Holmes's teachings with ancient spiritual wisdom and modern self-help practices, we unlock a comprehensive framework for personal transformation. This synthesis not only highlights the timeless nature of these principles, but also provides a practical roadmap for applying them in our lives today. One of the key aspects of this integration is understanding how the universal laws Holmes describes are reflected in various spiritual and self-help traditions. For instance, the principle of cause and effect central to Holmes's philosophy is mirrored in the concept of karma in Eastern traditions. Karma emphasizes that our actions, thoughts, and intentions have a direct impact on our future experiences. Similarly, Holmes's notion that our thoughts and beliefs shape our reality aligns with the idea that positive or negative energy we put out into the world will return to us in kind. Furthermore, Holmes' focus on mental imagery and the power of belief is echoed in the practices of ancient mystics and contemporary coaches alike. Ancient alchemy and mysticism often involved visualizing and meditating on desired outcomes as a means of transformation. These practices were rooted in the belief that the mind has the power to influence reality, a concept that modern self-help methodologies continue to champion. The visualization techniques promoted by contemporary thought leaders can be seen as a modern evolution of these age-old practices. In practical terms, this means that the strategies and exercises recommended by Holmes, such as affirmations, meditation, and goal setting, are not just abstract concepts, but are grounded in a rich tradition of spiritual and psychological practices. These methods have been refined and validated over centuries, proving their efficacy across different cultures and eras. 
Holmes' teachings also emphasize the importance of inner alignment with one's external goals, a concept that is reflected in both ancient spiritual practices and modern personal development. In ancient traditions, rituals and ceremonies often aimed to align the practitioner's inner state with cosmic forces. Today, similar principles uh, are applied in coaching and personal development, where aligning one's mindset with their goals is considered crucial for achieving success. By viewing Holmes's teachings through the lens of these diverse traditions, we gain valuable insights into how to harness these principles effectively. For example, understanding that visualization and affirmation are practices rooted in a long history of spiritual and psychological work can deepen our commitment to these practices. It helps us recognize that we are participating in a time-honored tradition of personal transformation, connecting us to a broader historical and cultural context. Moreover, this holistic view encourages us to integrate these practices into our daily lives in a meaningful way. For instance, setting aside time for meditation and visualization can be seen as participating in a long-standing tradition of aligning the mind with one's goals. Similarly, using affirmations and positive thinking can be viewed as engaging with universal principles that have guided individuals towards success and fulfillment throughout history. In conclusion, bridging Dr. Ernest Holmes' teachings with ancient spiritual wisdom and modern self-help practices provides a richer, more nuanced understanding of his principles. It shows that the insights he offers are not just relevant to contemporary life, but are part of a timeless continuum of spiritual and psychological knowledge. This integration allows us to appreciate the, the depth and enduring value of these teachings and empowers us to apply them more effectively in our own lives. By recognizing the historical and cultural context of these practices, we can approach personal transformation with greater confidence and clarity, knowing that we are part of a long tradition of seeking and achieving profound change. You might be surprised by what I'm about to share with you today, but I urge you, stay silent, stay focused, and let your spirit absorb what's coming. This message is not for everyone, and in fact, most people who come across it won't understand its depth. This is a message exclusively for the chosen ones. If you feel that deep call within your soul, if you've always known you were different, set apart for a higher purpose, then listen closely. There are things happening in the spiritual realm, unseen forces at work, and only those with spiritual insight will grasp the truth I'm about to reveal. If you're still here, then it means you already feel that pull, the sense that you are meant for something greater, something beyond the ordinary. But let me be clear, what I'm about to share won't resonate with everyone. This isn't a message for the faint-hearted, and it's certainly not for those who are asleep to their true calling. You might find yourself wanting to turn this video off, and that's okay if you do. Not everyone is ready for what's coming. If you're not one of the chosen, this message will feel foreign to you, even unsettling. That's because it's designed only for those who are spiritually awakened, who are in tune with the higher vibrations of purpose and destiny. However, if you've ever felt like you've been fighting battles that others don't understand, if you've ever experienced an inner knowing that you are destined for something significant, then this message is for you. You see, the chosen ones face traps, obstacles, and spiritual warfare that most people never encounter. You've been marked, chosen, and given a mission in this life that cannot be ignored. But with that comes opposition, subtle traps that can derail you from fulfilling your divine calling. So here's the warning. Pay close attention, because this knowledge will either empower you or pass you by depending on whether you are ready to receive it. If you're still with me, then you've passed the first test. You are one of the few, the chosen ones, and what I'm about to share will resonate deeply within your spirit. This is not by chance. This message has found you for a reason. Are you ready?
because once you know the truth, there's no turning back. If you're watching this, you've likely felt a calling deep within yourself that you are different, set apart for something greater. You're not like everyone else, and maybe you've always known that. But with that realization comes responsibility, a responsibility to guard your mind and spirit from the subtle traps that can derail your journey. The world is filled with distractions and illusions that aim to pull you away from your path. But as one of the chosen ones, you must avoid these mental traps at all costs. One of the most dangerous traps is doubt. Doubt can creep into your mind, making you question whether you're truly chosen, whether you have a higher purpose, or if it's all just a fantasy. But let me tell you this, doubt is a tool used to shake your foundation, to make you second guess what you already know deep in your soul. When you allow doubt to fester, it weakens your connection to your true purpose. The key to overcoming doubt is trusting in yourself and the calling you feel. You wouldn't be here if you weren't meant to hear this message, if you weren't truly one of the chosen. The chosen ones face this test of doubt more often than others because the forces that oppose your purpose know how powerful you are. You must stand firm and trust the inner knowing that has always been with you. Another mental trap is fear. Fear of failure, fear of the unknown, fear of stepping into your true power. These fears are designed to keep you small, to prevent you from claiming the destiny that's rightfully yours. The chosen ones are often tested by fear because your potential is immense and stepping into that power can feel overwhelming. But remember this, the chosen are given the strength to overcome any obstacle, including fear. Fear is an illusion, a mental construct that fades as soon as you confront it with courage. The moment you decide that fear will no longer control you, it loses its power. You have been chosen for a reason, and that reason is greater than any fear you may face. Comparison is yet another trap that can derail even the strongest of spirits. It's easy to look at others and wonder why they seem further along in their journey or why their path seems smoother. But the truth is, the chosen ones are on a unique path one that can't be compared to anyone else's. When you fall into the trap of comparison, you disconnect from your own journey, your own power. The chosen are meant to walk a path that is distinctly their own and comparing yourself to others only weakens your progress. Trust that your journey is unfolding exactly as it should. Everything you need is already within you and comparing yourself to others only distracts you from that truth. Then there's the trap of external validation. In today's world, it's easy to seek approval from others, to measure your worth by how many people agree with you or support you. But as one of the chosen, your validation must come from within. You weren't chosen to be understood by everyone or to fit in with the crowd. In fact, most people won't understand your journey and that's okay. Your path is between you and the higher forces guiding you. Seeking validation from others only pulls you away from the inner guidance that truly matters. The chosen ones are guided by something far greater than the opinions of others. You must learn to trust that inner voice above all else. Finally, the trap of complacency is one that every chosen one must guard against. It's tempting to get comfortable to rest once you've made some progress, but your journey is ongoing. The chosen ones are here to fulfill a divine mission, and that requires constant growth and evolution. Don't allow yourself to fall into the trap of thinking you've done enough. There is always more to learn, more to become. Stay vigilant, stay humble, and continue to evolve into the highest version of yourself. You've been chosen for a purpose, and that purpose is too great to let these mental traps stop you. Remember, doubt, fear, comparison, external validation, and complacency are the enemies of your progress. Stay focused, stay strong, and know that you are not alone. The chosen ones walk a path that is both challenging and rewarding, but the insights and strength you gain along the way are life-changing. Keep going, keep growing, 
and trust that your purpose will unfold in ways you can't yet imagine. Procrastination is one of the most subtle yet dangerous traps in the spiritual journey, especially for the chosen ones. It's a mental stronghold that can hold you back from fulfilling your divine purpose, and often you don't even realize its grip until it's too late. Procrastination is not just a bad habit. It's a spiritual chain designed to keep you stagnant, delaying the very mission you were chosen to fulfill. It sneaks into your life, masquerading as harmless delays, convincing you that there's always tomorrow. But tomorrow never comes, and with each delay, the fortress of procrastination grows stronger, trapping you further from your true calling. The truth is, procrastination is one of the devil's most effective schemes. It's a calculated attempt to keep you from stepping into your power, from becoming the person God has destined you to be. Every time you put off what you know you need to do, you are giving the enemy more control, allowing him to build strongholds in your mind. These strongholds aren't just thoughts, they become spiritual barriers, preventing you from taking action, from moving forward in your purpose. The longer you delay, the more fortified these strongholds become, making it harder to break free. Think of procrastination as a set of chains, binding you to a place of inaction. Every time you say, I'll do it later, the chains tighten, making it harder to move when you finally decide it's time to act. But here's the most dangerous part. Procrastination doesn't just affect your actions, it weakens your spirit. It drains your energy, dulls your sense of urgency, and keeps you from recognizing the critical moments in your life when God is calling you to act. The chosen ones are not called to live in complacency. You were chosen to make a difference, to fulfill a higher purpose, and procrastination is the very thing that keeps you from realizing that destiny. The devil knows that if he can keep you in a state of delay, he can hinder God's plan for your life. Procrastination may seem like a small thing, but in the spiritual realm, it's a powerful weapon used to keep you from fulfilling your mission. Every time you put off what you need to do, you are delaying God's purpose for your life. You are giving the enemy more time to build his fortress around your mind, making it harder for you to break free and step into your true calling. The urgency here cannot be overstated. The chosen ones are here for a reason and time is of the essence. The enemy wants nothing more than to see you waste that time, to see you held captive by the chains of procrastination, unable to move forward in your spiritual journey. But the good news is that those chains can be broken. The strongholds of procrastination can be torn down, but it requires awareness and action. You must recognize procrastination for what it is, a, a, a spiritual trap a delay tactic designed to keep you from fulfilling your divine mission. This is a battle for your purpose, and you cannot afford to be passive. Every moment you delay is a moment the enemy strengthens his hold. You must act now with urgency and determination to break free from the fortress of procrastination. The chosen ones are not meant to live in hesitation or delay. You are meant to rise, to move forward, and to accomplish the purpose God has set before you. The time to act is now, and the time to break free from the chains of procrastination is today. Procrastination isn't just a harmless habit or a minor flaw. It is, in fact, a spiritual stronghold, and the Bible makes it clear that delaying action when you know what you ought to do is dangerous. Scripture warns us against this very trap. In 2 Corinthians 10, 4-5, Paul speaks of the power we have to demolish strongholds. The weapons we fight with are not the weapons of the world. On the contrary, they have divine power to demolish strongholds. We demolish arguments and every pretension that sets itself up against the knowledge of God. Procrastination is one of those strongholds, an argument that opposes the urgency of God's calling on your life. It disguises itself as harmless delay but it's a tactic of the enemy to keep you bound. James 4.17 adds another layer to this truth. If anyone then knows the good they ought to do and doesn't do it, it is sin for them. 
This verse makes it clear. Procrastination is not just a personal issue. It's a sin. If you know what God is calling you to do, whether it's pursuing a mission, acting in obedience, or fulfilling your divine purpose, delaying that action is disobedience. The chosen ones are called to be obedient immediately, not when it's convenient or when they feel ready. The moment you procrastinate, you allow the enemy to establish a foothold in your life, preventing you from moving forward in the fullness of your calling. Ephesians 5 verse 14 echoes this urgency. Wake up, sleeper, rise from the dead, and Christ will shine on you. Procrastination lulls you into a spiritual sleep, keeping you unaware of the opportunities God is placing in front of you. This verse is a wake-up call to the chosen ones. Now is the time to rise from complacency, from the slumber of inaction. You've been called to fulfill a divine purpose, and every delay is a step away from that destiny. When we look at biblical examples of obedience, we see that God rewards immediate action. Take Abraham, for instance. When God called him to sacrifice his son Isaac, Abraham didn't delay, question, or procrastinate. He rose early the next morning and set out in obedience, Genesis 22, verse 3. His faith and immediate action led to God's provision and the fulfillment of his promises. Another powerful example is Peter stepping out of the boat to walk on water. When Jesus called him, Peter didn't hesitate or wait for the conditions to feel right. He immediately obeyed and experienced the miraculous. Matthew 14 verse 29. These examples show the power of immediate obedience and how God moves in the lives of those who don't delay. Procrastination is framed as a sin because it directly opposes this kind of immediate obedience. God doesn't call us to wait until the timing feels perfect or until we've overcome every fear. He calls us to act now, trusting that his strength will sustain us. The enemy uses procrastination as a tool to undermine this trust, convincing us that we have time to waste or that we can wait for a more convenient moment. But the truth is, as James says, knowing what we ought to do and not doing it is sin. The chosen ones are not meant to live in hesitation, and the Bible is clear about the dangers of delaying when God has called you to act. Procrastination is a form of spiritual rebellion. It keeps you from stepping into your God-given purpose and holds you back from experiencing the fullness of what God has prepared for you you must demolish the strongholds of procrastination with the spiritual weapons God has given you. Stand firm in your faith, take action when you know it's required, and trust that God's timing is perfect. As Ephesians 5.16 reminds us, we must make the most of every opportunity because the days are evil. Every moment you delay is a moment wasted, and in these critical times, the chosen ones must be vigilant. God has placed a unique calling on your life, and that calling requires immediate obedience. Procrastination is not just a delay. It's a spiritual trap that must be overcome if you are to walk fully in the purpose for which you've been chosen. Procrastination is a spiritual trap that has no place in the life of the chosen ones. It's time to reject it completely and take immediate action toward the purpose God has laid out for you. Every moment you delay, you distance yourself from the blessings and fulfillment that are waiting on the other side of your obedience. God has called you to something greater, and that calling requires you to act now, not later. Waiting will only strengthen the enemy's hold, building more chains and fortresses around your mind and spirit. But you have the power to break free. The Bible calls us to immediate obedience, and that's what is required of you today. Do not wait for the perfect moment or until you feel ready. God doesn't ask for perfection. He asks for faith and action. The moment you move forward in faith, God will meet you with his provision and guidance. Just as Abraham didn't hesitate when God tested him, like, and Peter stepped out of the boat without second guessing, you too must act now. I urge you to reject procrastination today. Whatever it is that you've been putting off, whatever calling or task you've delayed, take the first step now. 
This is not just about improving your life. This is about fulfilling the divine purpose that you were chosen for. The time for waiting is over. By taking immediate action, you will unlock the blessings that God has stored up for you. Your breakthrough is on the other side of your obedience, but you must move now, right now. Make the decision. Whatever you've been called to do, do it today. Act now and you will see how God opens doors, how he provides, and how he leads you into the fullness of your purpose. This is your moment, the moment to break free from the chains of procrastination and step boldly into your destiny. The Bible is filled with stories that highlight the power and importance of immediate obedience. And these stories serve as timeless lessons for all of us, especially for those who feel chosen for a greater purpose. When God calls, he doesn't ask for hesitation or delay. He asks for trust and action. And through the examples of Abraham, Peter, and the Israelites, we see what happens when immediate obedience is met with divine blessings. Abraham's journey is one of the most powerful illustrations of this. In Genesis 22, God commanded Abraham to sacrifice his son Isaac, the very child through whom God promised to fulfill his covenant. Imagine the weight of that command, the emotional and spiritual struggle Abraham must have felt. But Abraham didn't hesitate or question God's plan. The Bible says he rose early the next morning to begin the journey, fully prepared to obey, even when it seemed impossible. Because of Abraham's immediate obedience, God provided a ram in place of Isaac, and Abraham's faith became a cornerstone for generations. In modern life, many of us face decisions that seem just as daunting. Whether it's a career move, a relationship decision, or stepping into a new role in life, the call to act may feel overwhelming. But just as God provided for, for Abraham, he will provide for you if you act in faith without delay. Another powerful example is Peter's decision to walk on water in Matthew 14, 22, 33. When the disciples saw Jesus walking toward them on the stormy sea, Peter asked Jesus to command him to come out of the boat. And when Jesus said, come, Peter didn't hesitate. He stepped out into the waves. For a moment, Peter walked on water, defying nature itself. It was only when he allowed fear and doubt to creep in that he began to sink. The lesson here is clear. When God calls you, even if it's into a situation that feels impossible, your immediate obedience is what unlocks the miraculous. In modern life, this could relate to taking bold steps into new ventures or following a calling that seems beyond your ability. The chosen ones, like Peter, are often called to step into unknown waters, but immediate action leads to breakthrough, while hesitation invites fear and failure. The story of the Israelites in the wilderness also shows the consequences of delayed obedience. After God delivered them from Egypt, he led them to the promised land. But when it was time to enter, the Israelites hesitated. They allowed fear and doubt to control their decision-making, leading to 40 years of wandering in the desert. What was meant to be a short journey turned into decades of delay because they did not act when God commanded. This story is a warning for us today. Delaying when God calls us to act can lead to missed opportunities and prolonged periods of waiting. In our lives, we may find ourselves wandering in circles, stuck in situations that feel stagnant, all because we didn't step into the promise when God presented the opportunity. These stories, while ancient, speak directly to the modern challenges we face. Maybe you've been called to start something new, to leave a situation behind, or to step into a role that feels intimidating. Just like Abraham, Peter, and the Israelites, the decision you make in that moment is critical. Immediate obedience opens doors to God's provision, blessings, and protection, while hesitation can lead to delay and miss destiny. Think about the situation you're facing right now. Is there something you know you should be doing, something you've been putting off, waiting for the right moment? The stories from the Bible remind us that the right moment is now. 
When God calls you to move, he's not waiting for perfection or for everything to align. He's waiting for your faith and action. The chosen ones are marked by their willingness to act immediately, and by doing so, they unlock the divine miracles that are waiting for them. The call is simple, don't delay. Just as Abraham rose early, Peter stepped out, and the Israelites were meant to move forward as your time is now. Step into your purpose, act on God's calling, and watch how he works in ways you can't even imagine. God's timing is perfect, and aligning yourself with it is crucial for fulfilling your purpose. As chosen ones, you are called to move when God calls, not when it's convenient or comfortable for you. The spiritual journey is not about waiting until you feel ready or until the circumstances seem ideal. It's about trusting that God's plan is unfolding at the right time, even if it requires stepping out of your comfort zone. When you delay, you aren't just postponing an action, you are directly opposing God's plan for your life. Every time you procrastinate, you are choosing your own comfort over God's timing. And that choice can lead to missed opportunities, moments where God was ready to bless you or advance you into your purpose. Just like in the biblical examples, immediate obedience is what unlocks God's favor and blessings.